So I'm down here hanging out with my buddy Lance, and we're gonna we're gonna be working on his GME shaper right there, getting it back together and getting it running and making some test cuts on it. So he's really excited to uh, finally get this uh, little 16 running, and uh, he's gonna start playing around with it and yeah, making I'm, some chips. I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. He is very I'm excited super right excited. now. Excited. So we'll uh, we'll do a little backtrack and show you what we've been doing, and then we'll get to our cuts there. All right. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Let's get to it. All right, so uh, Lance and I have been working on his 16-inch G&E this morning. He had, he had taken a lot of it apart and did some thorough cleaning on it, got the gearbox cleaned out, and right now we're putting the pieces back on and putting new felt wipers on it. And I've already uh, repacked the top oilers here for the ram. We put rope uh, felt on that side, and I ran out, so we, we packed it with some sheet felt in here. And I put the new caps on there that one of the viewers had made from other machine. And um, I'm using the rest of them for lances. But he did some scraping here on the ramways just to make sure that he was getting proper uh, oil, oil retention there on the ways once he starts running it. It, it was not, he didn't scrape this uh, for squareness or flatness or anything. He just wanted to make sure that we're getting good oil uh, there because he did notice on the bottom inside here there was some uh, a little bit of galling from chips getting in there over the years where it wasn't maintained properly but this is a sweet little machine and it's so funny seeing it because i'm used to my 32 and this is this looks like a little miniature shrunk up 32 inch <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i helped and we got the vice cleaned up and on there it's it's nice though it's a cool little cool little shaper so you're working on the wipers for the rear Cover yeah, right now. I'm okay. Trying to make new sets. This yeah, the, this, uh, this this is the cover that bolts on here. Yeah, these actually you know, are fitting pretty good. I got to do a little bit of additional trimming. Okay. But so um, that'll yeah, yeah. This there we go. That'll bolt on and it'll get sandwiched right in here to protect this backside. All right. So we're going to get it all back together and then uh, once we get it fired up, we're going to start making some test cuts on it. And we have a couple of pieces that he would like to try to cut in on it maybe today if we can so we can do some um, scraping for some video purposes there all right we ready to fire it up right. we're gonna fire this thing up and see if it pumps oil oh yeah it's starting to pump it in there look at that yeah got, we got it over here okay Still. Got oil? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It'll get all that air out of it here in a minute. Yeah, we got the cascade on the gears. Just got to get that air out of it. Okay. Lance is making a little adjustment on the uh, filter pickup down there we think it's sucking some air he's trying to get it trying to do a little tweak on it see if we can improve this oil pumping here i made all the difference he uh he was able to tighten that fitting up there for the pickup and now we're not pumping oil i mean uh, pumping air so it'll all that air will start working itself out and we're getting lots of oil up here now you can see it coming up so we're going to we're probably gonna have to pack these tighter. Yeah, this, one, this one's got oil coming to it, but not as uh, aggressive. Yeah, this, this one's full. And and that one's not full, cool, so I mean, it's got oil in it, but it's not. Well, it may help if we uh, tighten these other ones up. But anyway, we know we're, we know it's working good now. We're getting the flow. Yep, yeah. you got some coming out there yeah. too? Yeah. Okay, because it drips in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> Made sense. Look at it coming out there of the pivot. See, it's oiling really good there. And then uh, I want to see. Well, you're getting a lot of oil on that other side because you can see it coming out. Right oh there. yeah, it's just going past the. Yeah, it's just not coming oh, up over the felt. Oh yeah, yeah. This yeah. that's what I'm saying. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to adjust these. Yeah. I think we got this 
oiler figured out right here. So we packed it in there very tight on the front to help block it from flowing over into the into the way and keep the center hole open so that all of the oil overflow can just flow right back down into the machine and i think that's that's working out real well because now it's not puddling up here so i think that's the ticket but we're definitely getting good oil you can see the stream here over there and then i can see it back there as well see that back corner I think we're getting much closer. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a shaker man in <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to give you a hand where a little bit that I that I understand from mine, since I've already kind of done it, but I'm definitely no expert on it. You're more of a machine man than I am. I just well, run them. <laughs> I can fix them, but I need somebody to show me how to run them. All right, here we go. How's that make you feel, man? Awesome. That's a, <laughs> been a lot of work just to get to this stage. Yeah. This really he's been, feels good. He's been working yeah. on this thing for a few days. Uh, he took this thing off and cleaned it good and rescraped the, the dovetails there. And, I mean, he's had this off, this off. Yeah, I'll but, send you some uh, some stills of everything torn apart in stages. Yeah, we'll throw that in there in the video. So we've got new wipers. You can see it's trying to it's trying to get them shaped in now on both ends. Oh, look at his uh, original light right here. How nice is that? <laughs> Well, we know we got good oiling up here on the rim, man. And this really did the trick right here. I need to look at this on mine and make sure that mine's doing this too. Packing it below the collar. Yeah. Very first cut, Lance is super excited. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. It's our very first cut, and we've got this thing maxed out at 16 inch stroke. <laughs> yeah. This uh, this piece right here is, a, is about 15 inches, and it was ground on the bottom, but the bottom is not flat, so this is the bottom side. We're gonna flatten it out, and we're gonna flip it over and actually make a cut on the, uh, the the, the other side, the top side of it. And uh, he's just gonna use this for just some uh, scraping yeah, practices. Yeah, we're, we're gonna use it for scraping practice. Okay. You know, tomorrow and then also as I work on the, um, oh, that's cool. As I as I work on different pattern scraping, I'm gonna okay. use these as practice plates. Okay, cool. Super, super excited. So awesome. That's the, uh, that's the, the Armstrong 41 tool holder that I cleaned up for Lance and that's uh, that's of course the tool bit that I ground for him also and so we're running the very slowest speed right now we're at uh, 15 strokes a minute and then we're running 25 thousandths speed step over we're just kind of testing the waters here we've been doing some adjusting on the gib yeah. making sure that it was right and we had to we had the ram all the way out and did some deflection testing there and we were what about three 
somewhere yeah. around three thousandths. If you pull on it out here, it was moving back and forth about three thousandths. That's it's pretty dang tight. Yeah, and that's yeah. fifty percent of the ram extended out past its support. Yes. So that's um, so it's good and tight. Yeah. It's running good. It's getting plenty of oil. There's no, there's no heat in it. Okay. There's a few love bugs in it. The love bugs are. Oh. They're just attracted in here, man. So Lance is excited. I I'm stoked. <laughs> so he's going to be over here running this thing like this now. And then while this uh, shaper's doing this thing, he can go over there, do his Kent, and do some uh, stone grinding. That's, the, that's one of the beauties of a shaper. Yeah. You're not having to watch it like a milling machine, you know, do its thing. Yeah, so I can keep an eye on this too because I'll be finished grinding over there and that'll be automated as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's cool, man. Are you ready? Oh yeah. He's already ahead. Alright. So there's our our tool did good. See we cut that cast iron with it. I mean it's still. Oh yeah. I mean it's, it's not still, dull. No. So what we're gonna do is uh we get our tool bit in here and we're gonna square everything up. And notice up I've got it. I've got this position on the back side, so it actually served as a spring tool in that manner. Okay. You can flip yep. it around the other way and have the tool in the front, but this right. is going to help eliminate any kind of chatter in your cut. Yeah. So, got that good and tight up here. Now, now what we need to do is uh, square that out. We need to square this up. So. So our clapper's pretty square. Now, oh, that's like a tight one. Let, kind of let the 
grab it and drop it down in there. Yep. And so we're going to square it up just like that, all right? So we're square. Now, I'll pack it off there so I don't dig yeah. into the surface by tightening it. All right? Now, we'll hone it. Yeah. We'll hone it square. bring this down, but we need to kick it out about three degrees or so, like this. And we'll just use the... Smelling everything. Like that. Oh. Yeah, just drop this down on there, okay? Now, let's we'll see. So we're definitely on the cutting edge. You, you, I can look through there and I can see yes. that it's just on the, the cutting edge. And we got approximately three degrees. So you set it with the, essentially the back the rake of the tool, yeah. the, that bottom rake or whatever it's called, of the tool. So this whole bottom is set flat. Just, just, the, just, just the front the, edge, okay. the cutting edge. Well, I can't see through it, that's why. Well, this okay. here, see the clapper yeah. box? Yep. Yeah, you, so want it, the, you, you need a little bit of clearance. So yeah. it's just like we're grinding a, an edge. Yeah. We got to have clearance. So okay, yeah. if this was all the way against there, you would be a straight. Right. So, okay. so this is where we're going to, uh, I'll tell you what. Oh, okay. Let's, I see it hitting on the stone. I see exactly where you're holding it. That makes sense. Let's try the roughing side. I mean, the more coarse side. Right. Okay. See, and you're just using the weight of the tool. Yeah. The to, weight of the tool is yeah. bearing down on that. Got it. But you see, you can't, you you can't, can't push go, it back. You right. can't go that way because right. it tightens it up. Right. So it just goes side to side. And you see this paper acts like a bearing also. Yep. I came off of it. And all you got to do is just, it's hard to see, but if you pivot it forward, you can oh, see. Oh, I the, can see it right can, from right here. Is, oh, it, yeah. is it honed all the way across? Yeah, it's even the whole way across. Okay, yeah. so you know that you're perfectly square to that plate once it goes down there. That makes sense. So what we'll do is just, now we'll put a finish on on there. And yes, these are my shop stones and they are precision ground. They are precision flat stones, yes. Can you see it? If you stand over here, I can see it. Oh, it's the whole way across. So you and can see a you can see a, a shining surface yeah. all the way across the bottom of that tool bit. Yeah. So it's there. Yep. So now you just swing it down. And now we've got the bottom edge of that cutting tool is perfectly square to the plate right there. Yep, that makes, that makes now sense. Now we're going to make a finish cut. <laughs> you only want a very small cut. So what's that? A couple of thousands? Two to four maybe. Okay. Five tops. Okay. Sometimes it, you've got to take more than two just to clean it up. Yeah, depending on the radius and the depth. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to really be careful how. Now you touch on the pen. Okay. Yeah, that's tough. All right, we're gonna go ahead and come off. Now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the collar up here. That's three. Let's see if three cleans it up. All right. Yep. And we're gonna do max step over. We're gonna run. We're gonna max this out here. Okay. Ninety thousand. All right. And we're running twenty-two. I'm afraid it might be a little fast, but we're gonna find out here right now. Okay. Do it. Wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Select. You see that chip coming off? You yeah, see how pretty that is? Wow. What a difference. 
How does it feel? Oh, oh. That's, a, that's, that's flat. Incredible. That is flat. That's look at this. Look at this feed. But you see how fast it's going across there? Even yeah. at, I mean, at 90,000, mine, mine steps over at 190. So it's doing it a little faster, but you see how fast it's going now. Yeah. That is cool. When we get done, you'll be able to, you'll be able to really see the parallel lines, which is yeah. what's really beautiful about a shaped or plain surface is the parallel cuts. Wow. That's gorgeous. Yeah. You're happy, absolutely huh? Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> That's incredible. Like from when I think about this from whatever, like three or four days ago when I was trying to get this ready. Yeah. And I kept going down one rabbit hole after another with little issues, you know? Yeah. To that. And now it's I am now it's worth it. Huh? Beyond <laughs> stoked. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Well, we'll bring you back and let you see what it looks like here at the end. Okay. So you got to get some of that, some of that YouTube gold for yourself. <laughs> Instagram gold for me. Instagram gold. Yeah. We're making Lance famous this weekend. Yeah. We're getting another hundred subscribers. Look how beautiful that is, man. That's crazy. You know, I almost hate to scrape that. <laughs> That's so pretty. Lance has been keeping up the production run of the stones while we're playing with the shaper. These are some that he's going to be grinding in. Those are some that he's been working on. He's just getting one side good and flat now. These are some of the 8 inch stones that he does. So we got that going and then we're working on the second plate here on the shaper. We're getting the uh, bottom side just flattened out for fun. And we'll flip it over and then shape the other side as well. That's going to be our uh, practice pieces for scraping and, and lapping. These are just some cast iron plates that Lance scored at the, uh, at the auction earlier in the year. And he says that these come off some kind of grinder. They were just like out outboard support tables that they were using just as a flat surface so don't really mean anything just uh just test pieces really all right we got her flipped over and cleaning up the other side now so you can see where he this is where he was in there just playing around uh he's been practicing the more pattern scraping which is one of these in here and uh so He's doing some half moon flaking on there. That's all this is gonna be used for right now is just to practice and demonstration on scraping. And of course, he's getting some practice in on the shaper here. He's been the one over here uh, getting everything set up and cutting. That's crazy. You get it's it. It's like a mirror under there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. Yeah, fine hone it. Yeah. So Lance isn't trying to uh, uh, promote his stones here, but he found a great use of his uh, precision ground stones. <laughs> I'm, uh, I showed him the trick on honing in a finishing tool bit for cast iron. And this is how you do it. I've, I've talked about this in one of my videos doing the fireball fixture plate. You have your clapper box set square up and down and you pull your clapper you swing it out about three to four degrees and then lay your tool down on it and then hone it completely square and then just inspect it and it should be nice and shiny on the bottom edge there it's like glass i don't know oh, yeah. i doubt that the camera will pick the it camera up, camera's not going to get it here but i'll get in there so that you can maybe see but that cutting edge is perfectly honed square to the work now 
and then all you do is pull your stone out and then let it drop all the way in and you're ready to finish yeah that's awesome and then when you do your your pass your step over you want to do max step over so this machine is has 90 thousandths and then that's what we're running as 90 thousandths of pass oh i'm sorry i keep starving her and <laughs> We got the video rolling, man. Yeah, I just realized that, so no, it's... it gave me pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot, he has the camera on. Uh-huh. Are we rough in here? Yeah, we're roughing in this other side of the stove. Okay. It's kind of interesting because when I mentioned how, how much I cut a pass on some of these stones, people are really shocked, but when we're grinding with diamond, you can take a pretty heavy cut. If people go up to Robin Renzetti's video explanation of how to cut these, um, they'll see he takes some pretty, pretty assertive cuts. This isn't steel. Yeah. Yeah, she can be a lot more aggressive. It really goes a lot faster than what I, I originally thought. I mean, you yeah. get across there really quick. You no, can see the traverse here. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Okay. We won't, <laughs> we won't show anybody. Yeah, don't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> now, this, this part, Get, to get it rough flat, which, you know, today if we talk about scraping, like, it's the same concept. Yeah. Except I'm using the grinding wheel. But just to get the surface flat it doesn't take any time at all. However, the finish cuts take time. Okay. It's looking pretty, man. I think, I think the slower speed's gonna, gonna make, make a difference. For the finish, yeah. I mean, I, we'll see when we're done. But. Yeah. This is our finish on the second plate, and we uh, we really improved some issues that we were having with from the first one, and it's we don't have any chatter in it now, and it just looks beautiful, and it's so smooth. But we're gonna take our stones here, and we're gonna stone it just to get it rid of any burrs or high spots, and then we're gonna check it with the indicator again. <laughs> Ness is excited here. We ground up a shear tool. That's the second shear tool I've made, and we hit it out of the gate. It's doing a good job. It's taking a very, very light cut, cleaning up that steel plate. It's just a mild steel, probably 1018. Hashtag shear tool Sunday. There you go. That's a good one, man. You can see how smooth it looks. Doing a really good job.
Well, today is Sunday. We've been uh, we've been making it Shaper Sunday, continuing to uh, make our test cuts here on the 16-inch G&E. I've been grinding up some different tool bits uh, so Lance could have something to play around with and continue practicing. This is just another piece of uh, this was hot roll flat bar that we're going to be using as another test piece. We're going to do some finishing cuts here in a little bit after we get it completely squared up. So we're having some fun with that and he still got his uh, stones going over there but I've been taking the a couple of tool bits that we had which is 3 8 by half and I've been grinding up a couple more tool bits that he'll have on hand here that he can use so there's another I left this one a little bit more sharp with less radius so that he can modify that if he needs this is a round nose in there ground that up more of like a shovel nose so he can use that if he's got some rough casting to uh, shape in so we've got our finishing tool right here for cast but we're also going to test this out on steel and see how it does for steel and of course we got our shear tool that i ground up as well and this is working really well this is doing great you see you got one more end right there that that can be ground up into another tool so we're just having a lot of fun and lance is really enjoying his his new shaper this is first time he's been running one like this and and he's all about it jumping in there and wanting to uh have a lot of fun with it this is a this is that steel flat bar that we've been uh just kind of experimenting with on getting it cut flat with the uh, square nose tool like we were doing with cast iron and i'm going to try to get you in so you can see that finish you see these parallel lines so right in here we're me uh, we measured it with two tenths variation between the cuts it gets a little bit worse on out here the further out you go but it's still beautiful we're just kind of shouting out our own theories of what may be happening yeah we're all brilliant in our own mind yeah but, but i think adam may be on to something i think the the ram probably has some wear in it yeah. and we just don't have the stability the further we come out with that cut yeah i think there's some just natural variation based on ram wear and and we yeah. know we have a little vibration in the machine so. yeah so we got the vibration you can see it right here the motor. The, the motor is vibrating real bad but he all he obviously found a little bit of wear in the ways right. the ram ways which we've got the gib adjusted and as, as snug as we can but we already know that there's given wear in the machine just because of its age and its use but it just looks gorgeous back here and it's so smooth and just a little bit deeper between the cuts out here but regardless we're having a good time Great time. <laughs> we're having a good awesome. time playing with the shaper. I learned a ton. Yeah. Awesome. And we're going to keep doing it. Maybe two tenths. This that machine, there was a little drop there. About the same. Okay. There's a couple spots that are a little bit lower, maybe even four tenths. But that's pretty that's pretty amazing. And we got some tearing out here, so 
And it's, it's a crappy piece of steel. Yeah, it's just a, it's, it's, just, it, it's a piece of hot roll plate. Yeah. It was uh, whatever that is, a piece of hot roll plate that we've been squaring up. So that is a pretty finished cut there. I'm really happy with that. that that's, that's the best finish I've, I've got so far. I'm telling you, man. I think it's like glass. It looks almost like a ground finish there. Yeah. Well, Lance has been getting the sides of this old steel bar cut in. And that's finished right there. It's like just glass smooth. I think that the video is kind of getting that, but it is just super smooth. That's using our shear tool. This is what the chip looks like. That's just like two thousandths. Is that what you took there? Uh, three thousandths on the last one. Three, three thousandths. So this is a three thousandths thick chip right there. And it is just beautiful. I mean, it, it almost looks like a ground finish. It does. It really yeah, does. It really does. Hard so, to tell. So that's it. He is just, uh, we've just been, we've been playing, learning, experimenting, and uh, just getting him a little bit of practice on it. And I'm getting ready to head out of here in the morning. So. Thanks for staying an extra day. Oh, yeah. I appreciate we, your time. I learned a ton, and it was a lot of fun. I had I a pleasure being it. here, man. It's yeah, been a lot of fun. It was awesome. Hanging with you and. and Playing with the shaper. My, my cats and dog are gonna be like <laughs> totally depressed tomorrow. They're gonna be wondering where we're at tomorrow. Yeah. Where are uh, all those people that love on us? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's been a great we're, weekend. We're, uh, we're gonna be heading out first thing in the morning and uh, headed back home, but I just wanted to give one final video and show them what, we, what we've been doing here and what we've been accomplishing. I've, I got some tool bits ground up for Lance so that he can play and he kind of knows what to, to work with now so that you can take it and just keep playing with it. And, Yep. Uh, we know that there's a little bit of work to be done on this machine, so yeah, but, still investigating, and yep. we know we know the motor is going to come apart, and probably part of it will come to your shop. Maybe I'll get a spray weld video out of that motor. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. I think there may be a bearing issue. Yeah, so, we'll see. All right, cool. Well, Thanks I hope, again, Adam. Yeah, no problem. I really man. appreciate it. And hopefully everybody's been yeah. enjoying the, the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Okay. Don't forget to check out the scraping video that we're going to do here as well.
on, you little pig. Come on. She's drooling already. My hand. <laughs> I know, you're gonna get it here. Easy. Look, I just dropped it. You're all She's excited. excited. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, she'll get all fired up. <laughs> Come on. Chillax. God, you act like you're starving, you <laughs> porker. You got the rest of them coming? Yeah, there they go. Oh, they're, they're like, where's mine? Yeah. Come here, Sally. Come here. <laughs> no, not this. Come here, Floppy. You know how to eat out of my hand. Floppy. Come here, Floppy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Old banana. Come here, Bully. Oh, here's the big bull. Here, Bully. Come here, Bully. Come here, Bully. Come on, Bully. All right, Floppy's gonna get bananas this morning. <laughs> Nobody else wants them. <laughs> he doesn't like, want it? He's like, I'm not an orange eater. <laughs> he likes such, what do they call trail mix sandwich, or um, uh, what are they called? Uh, nature granola bars, nature granola bars, or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's some of those. That's his thing. We also have a number. See him right there? Yeah, we have a number of cows that are in heat right now, and his attention is really not so much on the food. So, <laughs> you want to try a banana this morning? Okay. There you go. Eat the, eat the banana. Woo! That's smelling good. Almost fermented. Hope nobody gets drunk on that. Oh yeah, that's a win right there. Yeah, they're liking that. Yeah, I think we're gonna get some rain today. They're eating it up. Leery, you know, but I don't feed him that much by hand. I drop cubes and stuff. 